This video will consist of a quick demonstration of a proof of concept code for the recently disclosed Spectre vulnerability. Exploits for this vulnerability allow attackers to speculatively perform operations on victims which would not occur during correct program execution. This can leak the victim's confidential information via a side channel to the attacker. This vulnerability impacts nearly every system containing Intel, AMD, and ARM processors. To acquire this proof of concept code, first visit exploit-db. This URL is listed in the description box in this video. Go ahead and copy the code or download it from this download link. Now open up a terminal. Personally, I had to make a small modification in the code prior to compiling it with GCC. This may vary depending on your system's architecture. I'm using the most recent VM of Kali Linux at the time of this recording. Now I'm going to create a file named spectre-poc.c. I'll go ahead and paste the code that was previously copied. Now I'm going to change the single quotes to double quotes. Over here at this question mark following value of zero. Now I'm going to go up near the top of the proof of concept code here, the secret variable. This is optional, but I'm going to change it to Jesse Pones your CPU's memory. Now we'll take a moment to explain what this does. This proof of concept code writes the string in the variable secret to memory, then removes it and tries to see if it is still readable. Again, the secret variable is set to Jesse Pones your CPU's memory. While this isn't a full-blown exploit for the Spectre vulnerability, it shows the methodology of how the vulnerability can be exploited. Now we can compile the code using GCC. So I'm going to go ahead and type GCC hyphen O, name it Spectre hyphen POC, and the name of the C code that was just saved. Good. We can now execute the compile code to see what we get. As you can see here, the POC is working properly by printing the plain text string which was written to memory. To the right of reading at malicious underscore x, we see the offset. To the right of that, we see the hexadecimal of what was written to memory, and then the ASCII, or plain text, of what was written to memory. That concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, subscribe, and check out my Udemy courses.